Welcome, to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations Channel, Disinfection of Water. The process of killing, or, deactivating, or, removal of, disease-causing organisms, pathogens, is called disinfection. The following are the different methods of disinfection. Boiling the water. Chlorination. Exposure to ultraviolet radiation, and, ozonation. Water, when boiled at 100 degrees centigrade, for about 15 to 20 minutes, all the pathogens will be killed. This is, one of the simple ways of disinfection of water. Chlorination, the usual chlorinating agents are bleaching powder, chlorine dioxide, and, chloramine. Chlorine is a powerful oxidant. It disinfects water effectively. Chlorination Into a chamber Fitted with baffle plates From one end impure water And from other end, liquid chlorine, are fed. The contents are mixed well. As a consequence, disinfection of impure water takes place. Disinfection by chlorine. When chlorine dissolves in water, the following reactions take place. At lower pH values, HOCl being a neutral molecule, diffuses through the negatively charged cell wall of the disease-causing organism, and cleaves the inner protein or nucleic acid content, thereby kills or inactivates the pathogen. While at the higher pH values, OCl- being negatively charged, gets repelled by the negatively charged cell wall of the pathogen. Thus the efficacy of disinfection by OCl- is very less. Thus at a pH value around 6, and at 25 degrees centigrade, the disinfection by chlorine and its compounds, is preferred. The following are the advantages of using liquid chlorine for disinfecting the water. Chlorine is inexpensive. It does not require huge space for storage. It will not introduce any additional impurities into water. It can be used at any temperatures. On prolonged storing also it will not decompose. Disadvantages using liquid chlorine. It is ineffective at higher pH values, alkaline media. Use of excess chlorine can produce unacceptable odor and taste. If the water containing excess chlorine is consumed, it creates gastric disturbances, stomach upset. Breakpoint chlorination, addition of chlorine to water, is not just sufficient enough for disinfection of water. Because, in the raw water, along with pathogens, there will be organic matter. Reducing species like, ferrous ions, hydrogen sulfide, and, ammonia. When adequate quantity of chlorine is added to raw water, all these compounds will be oxidized. Then only, free, or, residual chlorine, begins to appear. This stage, where free, or, residual chlorine appears, to disinfect water, is called, breakpoint chlorination. With the help of following graph, Breakpoint chlorination is explained. Residual chlorine. Applied chlorine. In the first stage, after the addition of chlorine to water, oxidation of some reducing compounds takes place. In the process, added chlorine will be destructed. In the next stage, further amount of added chlorine reacts with ammonia to form chloramines. By the further addition of chlorine, in the next stage, oxidation of chloramines and other organic compounds takes place. When the destruction is complete, then, free, or, residual chlorine, begins to appear. This is called, breakpoint chlorination. The next method is, Purification by ultraviolet radiation. 
This is also one of the efficient methods of disinfection of water. In most of the domestic water purifiers, impure water will be exposed to ultraviolet radiation. The ultraviolet radiation kills, or, deactivates, the pathogens. Purification by UV light The impure water is passed through a tube and exposed to UV radiation. In the process, the disease-causing organisms are either killed, or deactivated. Disinfection by UV radiation Ultraviolet light is a form of electromagnetic radiation. The wavelength range of UV radiation is 10 nanometers to 400 nanometers. But to kill the pathogens, the wavelength range of UV light should be 100 nanometers to 290 nanometers, it is called UVC light. The UVC light can penetrate through the cell wall of the pathogen, and disrupts the nucleic acid content of it. Thus, the pathogens are killed. The next method of disinfection is, by ozonation. Ozone is a powerful oxidant, and, germicide. The mechanism of action of ozone is different from that of chlorine. Chlorine diffuses into the microorganism, and, destroys the enzymes in the protoplasm, while, ozone breaks the cell wall of the microorganism, leading to the outflow of the contents. Ozone can be prepared, by the silent electric discharge of oxygen, using Siemens ozonizer, or, Brody's ozonizer, or, Siemens House Cozonizer. Nascent oxygen is responsible for disinfection of water. Ozonation Into the ozonation chamber, fitted with baffle plates. From one end impure water is fed. From the other end, ozone gas is sent inside and the contents are mixed thoroughly. As a result, disinfection of water takes place. Disinfection by ozone Ozone is a very good oxidant and a broad-spectrum disinfectant. It decomposes to molecular oxygen and nascent oxygen. The atomic oxygen is responsible for the oxidative and disinfectant properties of ozone. The atomic oxygen oxidizes the cell wall of the pathogen and enters inside. In the next step, it cleaves the protein or nucleic acid component of the pathogen, thereby kills or inactivates the pathogen. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share.